So now, in the next part, in this part, let's talk about preference relation. So, first of all, let me define you what is preference relation itself. Preference relation is a, is a binary relation that we use like this notation for that refers to the way individual rank or compare different options or choices based on their personal tests, likes and dislikes. So when we talk about preference relation, we say binary relation. So we have to say about first, what is binary relation? Binary relation is a kind of relation that we compare different option and we rank them one over another or we compare one option over another options. So in preference relation also is the way that individual rank or compare different option or choices based on their personal taste, likes and dislikes. When you like something, you rank over another things that you dislike. For example, when we have two options here as a fruit, when I ask you which fruit you want, and I have two options for you, apples and oranges, which one you will pick? You will pick your option based on your tests, personal tests, likes and dislikes. Maybe you will say, okay, I prefer to have apple over oranges. But some other person based on their personal choice, they will say, no, I prefer orange over apple. Or there can be another type of person that he will say, it doesn't matter for me, both of them is fine. I'm indifferent between both. So preference relation, it's essentially how people decide what they prefer when they're faced with different alternatives. When there are different alternatives, by preference relation, we decide or people decide which one should prefer over another one. So this could include anything from selecting between different goods and services to making choice between different options of leisure activities or investment. As the example of goods and services I already provided you as an example of goods like consuming between apples and, and oranges. An example of services. Also, we, we have different kind of services. You, you can, uh, for example, let me tell you about this, what kind of services we are going to use. For example, if you want to travel from one city to another city, when it comes to transportation services, you will compare city bus or highway bus over like a personal car. Which one would you choose? Or you will compare flying by airplane and taking train. Which one would you choose as a transportation services? And also as a leisure activities. For example, there are different leisure activities. Which one would you prefer to another? For example, would you prefer to play a game alone in your free time? Or you will spend your time with your friends? Maybe some person will say, I would rather take to play game alone. Some person which they are socialized, they will say, I would rather prefer to, uh, to spend my time with my friends, with my families. And some other person says, okay, it doesn't matter for me to play a game or to spend time with my friend. I enjoy both of them as the same. Or between different options. For, uh, for example, investing on like meta stock, are investing on Tesla stock, investing on Microsoft stock, or investing like on, on Apple stock, investing on Samsung stock, or investing on LG stocks. So there are different options you can compare them. So this is the preference relation. So now, each consumer endowed with a preference relation defined on a consumption set. So a preference relation on consumption set X, where X and Y is two options or two 
maybe in case of bundles it can be two bundles or just two option or two goods or two services or any options that you you can think about that which they are in your consumption set as an element of consumption set we can have three different types of preference relations as follows the first one which is the foundation of uh, explaining the next two types of preference relation is the weak preference relation in weak preference relation, an individual weakly prefers one alternative to another one. Like X is weakly preferred to Y. So how we define this notation, we say that X is, X is at least as good as Y. Like how we can define this notation, we say X this one x is at least as good as y meaning that x is weakly preferred to y x is weakly preferred to y for example when there are two options again apple and orange when someone asks you which one would you pick i will say okay i like both apple and orange but i would rather prefer orange it doesn't say strictly, there's no way, if there's no orange, I will not take apple. You will say, okay, I like both, but I would rather prefer orange. So this is weak preference relation. And in case of a strict preference relation, an individual strictly prefer one alternative to another alternative. So we use this notation for that one. X is strongly prefer to y if and only if x is at least as good as y but not y is at least as good as x it meaning that x is strictly preferred to y again if x is orange and y is apple you will say i strictly prefer orange over apple so it means there is no way for sure, I will, I will choose the orange. Strictly, I will choose the orange over apple. And the third one is indifference relation, which is under individual we use two alternative as equally desirable. And we use this notation. X is indifference to Y. If and only if X is weakly preferred to Y, I, another where x is at least as good as y and also y is at least as good as x so when x is at least as good as y and y is at least as good as x it means you are indifferent between these two options so it means if the orange is at least as good as apple for you and also apple is at least as good as orange for you it means that you are indifferent between apple and orange if x is orange and y is apple meaning that orange is indifferent to apple so you're happy with both of them in the same level you will not be happier using one option than another option both of them will provide you the same level of happiness, the same level of fulfillment, the same level of satisfaction and desire. So, this is it for this video. Let's talk about the axioms of preference relation in the next videos. And then we will move on step by step and deeply we will talk about the consumer theory, each part in detail, in order to know each part perfectly in detail and learn the scale of microeconomics analysis even in real life situation. Till the next video, I hope you have a great time. See you guys in the next session that we are talking about the axiom of preference relation or the axiom of choice.